our rollover day is Thursday, but I'm going to do uploads on Friday. So you guys will see this video tomorrow. A little bit of like backstory on it because I was going to do a trying to conceive update and I got like behind on videos and whatever. So I actually didn't put up a trying to conceive update, so I didn't really talk about like that cycle that we got pregnant or anything. We weren't, it's not that we weren't trying because we weren't preventing this month, but we weren't like putting pressure on ourselves to try this month. I wasn't like tracking. But other than the day that I ovulated, I didn't keep track of anything. I didn't do BBTs this week. I didn't um, track my CM. I didn't track my CP. I didn't do anything. So I didn't even actually take OPKs this month. I just know that I ovulated based on the cramping that I felt. The first day of my last period would have been February 24th. We got a positive pregnancy test on March 27th. much like dairy products is what I'm noticing. Um, I want a lot of milk and a lot of water. I've been really thirsty, like I cannot quench my thirst at all. Um, and I've been eating smaller meals to try to avoid nausea. So I've been finding that like small portions of yogurt or cheese and crackers or eggs or cereal or bagels with cream cheese is a big thing that's been getting me through. Um, it's not that I don't have like, I don't have decreased appetite. But I feel nauseous if I eat something that my, like, that my body isn't agreeing with. I get really nauseous. So there's only certain foods that I can eat that are making me not sick right now. So my biggest symptom this week is definitely the, the nausea. I've been so nauseous. If I don't wake up and eat right away, then I'm like instantly nauseous. Like I have to eat as soon as I open my eyes or I am sick all day long. Having sore breasts, I don't like wearing a bra, it doesn't feel nice. It's definitely like really like restricting. And I've been feeling ligament stretching pains on both sides of, on both my sides. I've been really sensitive to smell, which I don't think is helping the nausea at all. I bet you that is probably half the reason, reason that I've been nauseous. I've noticed I have an increased appetite in the evening. So like during the day and stuff, it's harder for me to eat. I kind of have to like force myself to eat. And I've, like I said, I've noticed the smaller meals is helping me eat more. But in the evening, it's like I have a huge appetite. Dinner time comes around and I'm like super hungry. So that's really good. At least I'm getting like a big meal, one big meal in and then a bunch of little meals. I've definitely been like really bloated. I'm also, I've been so exhausted lately. I remember I was really exhausted with both of my other kids. With Faith, I remember being really tired because I had, Tay was still a toddler, so I still had to deal with him and all of his needs and then try to focus on what I was trying to do. And at the time when I got pregnant with Faith, you guys might not know this, but I was actually going to school. So it was like really, I remember being like extremely exhausted with her and it was really hard to get up. I've also found that I, like since the hormones have kicked in and with the last few days, we'll say, the last few days I've noticed I've definitely been a lot more moody. I don't know if it's just the hormones or what it is, but I've definitely been moody. I've been short. Um, I've been easily agitated. I don't like being like that. Let's touch on the fact that we already have an OB um, slash our family doc. She was actually the doctor that delivered Faith, so we're gonna use her again. I had a really good experience with her. My entire labor and delivery in the hospital was only 10, I was only in the hospital for 10 hours. So I was really happy with my experience with her. The labor was really fast. Everything was done how I wanted it to be done. Um, she respected all my wishes and my birth plan and everything. So she is definitely who we're gonna go through again.